There's something about our sun that doesn't make sense, and scientists may just have cracked it. How can the outermost atmosphere of the sun be hotter than its surface? It might seem contradictory, but it's a well-known phenomenon known as a coronal heating problem that's plagued solar scientists for decades. A team of scientists might have just cracked it. Solution from solar science sleuths? Researchers say that they've achieved a major breakthrough in our understanding of the sun by solving one of the biggest mysteries. They've directly observed a mysterious type of magnetic wave rippling through the sun's atmosphere. If true, this could help explain one of the biggest puzzles in our solar physics, why the sun's outer atmosphere, its corona, is millions of degrees hotter than its surface. The discovery, published in Nature Astronomy, confirms the existence of small-scale waves known as Alfven Alf waves, A-L-F-V-E-N. These twisting motions in the sun's magnetic field were first predicted back in 1942. The mystery dating almost 100 years. The Alfven waves are named after Nobel Prize winning physicist Hans Alfven, who predicted them in 1942. They're magnetic disturbances that carry energy through plasma, the hot charged gas that makes up most of the sun. Scientists have detected larger versions of these waves before, usually linked to explosions on the surface of the sun called solar flares. But this new study marks the first direct evidence of a small, constantly occurring twisting kind that may continuously power the sun's outer atmosphere. This discovery ends a protracted search of these waves that has its origins in the 1940s, says Professor Richard Morton, a UKRI Future Leader Fellow at Northumbria University in the UK, who led the research. We've finally been able to directly observe these torsional motions twisting the magnetic field lines back and forth in the corona. Peering into the sun with world's most powerful solar telescope? The breakthrough was made possible by the U.S. National Science Foundation's Daniel K. Inouye Solar Telescope in Hawaii. It's the world's most powerful solar telescope, featuring a four-meter wide mirror and instruments capable of detecting incredibly fine detail on the sun. Its cryogenic near-infrared spectral polarimeter, cryo -near -near instrument, allowed scientists to measure tiny shifts of the motion of plasma heated to 1.6 million degrees Celsius. That's 2.9 million degrees Fahrenheit. Spotting a twist hidden in the sun's waves to identify the elusive torsional waves, Professor Morton developed new techniques to separate different kinds of motion seen in data collected by the telescope. The movement of plasma in the sun's corona is dominant, is dominant by swaying motions, he says. These mask the torsional motions, so I had to develop a way of removing the swaying to find the twisting. While the more familiar kink waves make entire magnetic structures sway back and forth, visible in solar imagery. The newly detected torsional alphabet waves create subtle twisting motions. These can only be revealed by measuring how plasma moves towards and away from Earth, which produces red and blue Doppler shifts on opposite sides of magnetic structures. Unlocking these secrets of superheated corona, the finding could finally help scientists explain why the sun's corona burns an, uh, at over a million degrees Celsius while the surface below remains at a comparatively cool 5,500 degrees Celsius. Twisting waves may transport and release magnetic energy throughout the corona. That could be heated pla heating the plasma and helping drive the solar wind, which is a stream of charged particles that fills our solar system and generates space weather. Understanding how these waves work could also involve improved forecasts of solar activity that can interfere with GPS systems, satellites, and power grids. The global effort with cosmic implications? The research was an international collaboration involving 
scientists from Northumbria University, Peking University of China, KU Leuven, Queen's Mary, Queen Mary University of London, the Chinese Academy of Sciences, and the NSF National Solar Observatory. This research provides essential validation of the range of theoretical models that describe how alpha waves turbulence powers the solar atmosphere, says Professor Morton. Having direct observations finally allows us to test these models against reality. And you can read the full paper via Nature Astronomy. And this is by Ian Todd on BBC Sky at Night magazine. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.